with regard to on point in Limpopo. So, the VBS matter, right? I've never spoken to VBS people. The person I know in VBS and not, do not know that much about that person is Matozi, the chairperson of Valley, who was introduced to me at the party of the Bavenda King, Wombe. Uh, so, I've never had any dealings with them. This is very simple, Samgen. When a case is opened, the Hawks have got access to all our forms of communication. They can even apply Section 205, get it from the judge, go into the history of our phones. In this case, they've done, by the way, with the VBS colleagues who are uh, arrested. No way, no way will you ever find me in any form of communication with any of the VBS people. But it's not about communication for you with the VBS people. No, no. There is a credit, there is a bank card, Mr. Malema. We're coming to that. We to we are, we are, yes, we're coming to that. I get it. We're, we're building a case. Okay. So, Ho Julius, yeah. sorry, hold on. I want to go back to the issue around the VBS people that you never had contact with. Yes. Then one needs to ask, why was it then? Did you never wonder why they found EFF to be strategic all along? Because that's kind of what the communication has been. When you look at Pauli van Veig's stories, which, by the way, I understand her stance for her not deciding not to come. I absolutely get it. I think it's sad because there are many questions. She's led the story of VBS and would have been great to have her in the room. But I also understand why she made a decision not to. Hello, everyone. But Please welcome to Mashudu Entertainment and thank you so much for clicking on this video so all this comes after jailed former vbs chairperson chipiwa matozi claims in his testimony that the eff was paid five million lump sum and one million rand monthly donations to clean up the bank's bad reputation after giving former president jacob zuma a home loan of Onkandla. This was allegedly funneled through a company owned by Brian Shivambu, brother of the party's deputy president, Floyd Shivambu. Matozi was sentenced to an effective 15 years in prison by the Pretoria High Court after he pleaded guilty to 33 counts including corruption, theft, fraud, money laundering, amongst others. In his testimony, he said he met the EFF leader Julius Malima and Floyd Shivambu at the EFF Santen Penthouse during the heat of the Nganda saga as the party had been criticizing the bank for giving Zuma the loan. Matozi said he promised the party leaders VBS would pay the EFF an initial 5 million rand and thereafter make a 1 million rand monthly donations in an effort for good PR. And that is it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Also, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more on entertainment and celebrity news. Bye guys.